Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters I have no doubt you all memorized, who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Anybody? This does not bode well. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to guarantee- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? 
Type self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So, Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. If you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you huh. know it's... This might make a cool shot. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Black Willow Island. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera, honey, and everybody should oh, totally. it. I only want of to course, show. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much.
I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Thank you. Mrs. Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. It's sad to imagine a world without you. American girl. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Be part of the world around you. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. 
Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I, I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. With shiny smiles and plastic bodies. I, I, I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Girlfriend. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. That's when I fly. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Good thing I left my AK at home. To all of you, American girls, it's sad. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the sea. It looks like she's been gone for months. Watching the world from the bright side. Nerd alert, this poster has to Warren all written all over it. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another like Vortex Club dollars. disciple. With shiny smiles and plastic buddy. I wish I had. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. There's the lighthouse again. Tired to complain. 
principal doesn't come out of his office much. That's when I fly. such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously, but otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side yeah. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. This poster must drive people to have sex. good to flow. Thanks. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. 
Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Mueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the I, I should rewind. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. And Anybody? <laughs> Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not there yet. You go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. Keep of it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted. Still the same stupid side. picture. When I took my selfie, She's Jefferson so asked me a question. Right. If he does again, she... I'll notice this for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know the it's real. Has been popular I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please 
tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Black I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. Victoria but hasn't I moved from that spot. That this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody oh, should have totally. a chance. totally. I only right? want to share whatever gives I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. What are you waiting for? Go! <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's payday? You didn't tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Uh, make it... Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. 
leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, sir, it's happening again. People are trying to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Punk ass. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never- You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm- I'm just a little worried about my future. We're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story?
Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? Seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it.
What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Brooke actually has a drone? Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus.
This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. I better read one. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on.
Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> you! Hey, you're not really escape, Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. I <laughs> ran away. you ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her will get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm.
And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Otter power? I'm so not there. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Okay. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Logan Robertson, all-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there nice. anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Awesome. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there.
What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would awesome. know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. You knew nice, Rachel? Bro. How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Awesome. No. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say no. anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Dude. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. With all these new droughts, it seems kind of obscene to waste all this water. Yeah. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Yeah. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh, dude. Awesome. Do you understand no. English? Get lost. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve?
Keep walking, hippie. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. None shall pass. Capiche? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Do you understand no. English? Get lost. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Nice. None shall pass. Yeah. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Max, rewind and find something. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Nice, bro. 
This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Okay. Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Okay, let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Oh, wet, wet paint no. is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. Okay. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. No. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Yeah. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Nice. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Yeah. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-yourselfie. 
That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. No. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Just get to your room and grab Warren's flash drive.